what's up and welcome back to my channel Shay TV my name is Marissa Hill if you're new to my channel do not forget to hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it feel free to leave me any comments or questions that you may have on today's video as well at the end and do not forget to hit that notification bell as we do have a ton of content that I do not want you guys to miss out on as well as do not forget to hit that join button to become a shade gang member that's right we want you to join the shade community so that you can get added perks it's so great to see how many of you have joined already and i can't wait to see more newcomers to the to be joining the shade community all right guys so let's get right into it this is going to be a little bit longer of a video only because i'm going to be splitting it into two parts we are going to go through the supreme drop list for week 14 and then for the second portion if you guys want to stick around i'm going to be doing the drop list for palace for the palace week nine drop list as you guys know tomorrow's turkey day so i'd like to get both of these done and uh, out there for you so that you are ready to go for your shopping by black friday uh, let me know what you guys are planning on buying this week i know there's a lot of great deals out there uh, so maybe you guys are also passing on this week just to save up to buy other gifts for other people on different sites. All right, so I want to quickly just talk about one of the items I picked up online. I just got it the other day, so I wanted to show unboxing and a little lookbook on it so that you guys can see. This is from the Stone Island collab, and I'm pretty stoked about this. This is a size medium that I end up going with. And I will say it runs a little bit more fitted than the typical Supreme hoodies run. Uh, so definitely if you're looking at buying this, know that it is a bit more fitted than oversized. Um, I was pretty surprised. I thought it was gonna be actually way too big, but the small I think would have been way too short on my arms. And I feel like it definitely would have been extremely fitted in comparison to the medium. Uh, but I love the embroiderment of the shirt. It's pretty thin, actually. This is not a thick hoodie. So if you guys are expecting this to be like a great thick winter hoodie, I would say that this is definitely going to be a layering piece or a nice light hoodie for the spring summertime. But it's definitely by all means not a thick hoodie. I love the snaps that we've got here on the pockets. It's just like a nice simple detail. And we've got that stone island on the snap as well which is quite nice in that white colorway uh, and then we've got the nice detail of the stone island patch on the side here in the navy and it's got some nice coloring schemes of the pops of yellow and green as well overall I'm very happy that I was able to cop this yeah, my life, life just goes on and on. He ain't have a lot of money, but he taught me how to keep the perfect posture. So folding under pressure, that ain't something that I'm about to. Crabs in the barrel, I'm just trying to be a lobster. I hit my cousin, told him to call. It's been 12 years and I ain't heard from him at all. Had a little fallout over some money. Damn, ain't it funny how the smartest people be beefing like they some dummies. But I hope you doing swell now. Hope your family well now. We still believe in Ronnie gonna make his way out of jail now. Just want to get some shade actually out real quick too. I know a lot of you were saying like, why didn't you just get this on, get this small on the Stone Island website. So before you guys comment, make sure you do your research and you're actually going onto the website and actually trying to get the item before you make a comment that, you know, it was sitting on the website. Nothing was actually sitting on the Stone Island website. There must have been a glitch of some sort happening on their site because even though the items show they were available, if you actually clicked on the items, they were sold out. So for those of you who thought that items were just sitting and chilling, it's your bad. You probably should have just went on the site and manually clicked on it to see if they were available because none of those items were available. They sold out very quickly if not in seconds, just like they did on the Supreme website. So again, this sweatshirt actually, you know, let's just, let's just go real quick and see again what the time was for this. So yeah, the Supreme Stone Island Warp Stripe Hooded Sweatshirt went in 7.4 seconds, not small, 
XL, eight seconds. The large, 8.6 seconds. Uh, so yeah, for those of you who thought this was sitting, my the medium that I got went 41.5 seconds. That is a lie. This flew off the shelves. So definitely was not an item that people were just passing on. It was definitely just a glitch, unfortunately, on the Stone Island website. So that's their bad. And it's also your bad for not double checking and making sure that your information is correct. Other than that, we are gonna go through and start with the Supreme Week 14 drop list. talk about some of the items that I'm most excited about this week. We're going to start from my least favorite items, starting off with the perspective top. So this top comes in two colorways. It's kind of got some intricate patterns going on with the Supreme logo all over it in different patterns, upside down, sideways. And it looks like it's on the back as well in that same kind of logo pattern. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot going on. It's kind of trippy, actually. There's two colorways. One's kind of a lighter shade with white as kind of its base layer. The other one is black with its base layer. And then the two have kind of some similar color schemes. Uh, we've got purples and yellows, oranges. This is just kind of a trippy looking shirt. And I think for me personally, I just am gonna take a pass on this one. Uh, but it is nice that they do offer that in two colors. Next up, we have the Digi Floral Corduroy shirt. I feel like these floral pattern items that Supreme drops tend to do very well, just because I think a lot of it has to do with them dropping these pants to go with the jackets in that floral print. Uh, we have seen the first floral print before. We saw that in the worker's jacket as well as the pants to go with it. So if you were able to cop that, I would probably imagine that you would be going as well for this corduroy shirt in that same colorway and pattern. Uh, and that one that uh, is basically the most popular one I've seen is the purple with the green and kind of navy undertones in it. They are also launching that in two other floral print colorways, black and white, as well as a orange, purple, and green. All right, next up we've got the Koyaniska see i hope i didn't butcher that word but we're gonna get into what this means if i can actually go in close enough so this is from the hopi language and it means crazy life life in turmoil life out of balance life disintegrating huh this is uh this is kind of depressing so i i'm gonna take a hard pass on this. I don't really like the definition on this hat. Uh, it does have that Supreme on the back, which I like, uh, but the front and that definition is probably not the most positive vibe hat. And I'm all about positive vibes. So if I'm walking around the street with some negativity, I feel like that's actually going to be bad for my like healthy positive aura. So even though that comes in different colorways as well, a yellow, a purple, a white, and a black, I am just, that's a no for me. Uh, next, we've got the Chulo Windstopper Ear Flap Beanie. Who doesn't need a nice ear flap beanie? That is a necessity in New York because one of the things that drives me crazy is how painful it is when my ears get cold. I don't know, there's like two, three different things actually in the winter time that I just can't stand. Like when my ears are cold, when my fingers are cold, and when my toes are cold because it just starts to hurt. Oh, it's painful. There's nothing like shooting outdoors for modeling because that starts for some reason right when it starts to get cold here that's when everybody wants to shoot lifestyle stuff for the spring summer catalogs it's, it's great fun guys anyway so that ear flap beanie uh kind of has some holiday it looks very holiday-esque i feel like this is something you wear like an ugly sweater party or something uh it comes in the black and white a red a brown a blue red purple and kind of greenish tone with that cute uh little cotton ball at the top there. Um, gonna pass on that one, but you know, it looks cozy, looks comfy. Then we have the reflective speckled camp cap. Uh, it looks like this is actually gonna be kind of matching with the bag that they're dropping, as well as a uh, jacket that they're dropping. It's reflective as well. It comes in a black, a green, an orange, and a blue with that Supreme Box logo on the front. 
uh, kind of just matches and blends in very well with a hat. For me, I think I'm topped off for the season with hats, unless something just crazy pops out and catches my attention. Other than that, I think that's a pass for me. Then we have the matching Chulu Windstopper zip up sweaters. This is the perfect sweater for a sweater party, I feel like, uh, coming up this season if you're planning on going to sweater parties, if they're even allowing that. I know in New York it's uh, getting pretty close to lockdown potentially, so may not even have the opportunity to wear a sweater like this. But we do have, I don't know, this reminds me of Home Alone, this red one for some reason. You guys give up? I'm like, Macaulay Culkins, did you did you wear this sweater? He may have worn the sweater, I don't know guys. Maybe the exact print. Uh, but that comes in the same colors as hat, that blue, the red, and black colorway. Then we have the best of the best hoodie. And that comes in six different colors. It's a brown, a blue, a white, a black, a red, and a purple. And let's take a closer look at it. So it says World Class 94. Then we have Perfection and Supreme with copyright MMXX. Best of the best. Pretty basic hoodie. Uh, you know, not really something that sticks out in my opinion. So that's going to be a pass as well. Then we have the Polar Text Beanie, which we will get into more Polar Text items later. This comes in a cream, a black, a bright neon yellow, an orange, and a blue. And those are going to also be the same colors that the uh, fleece jacket is going to come in as well as the zip up. Then we have the Supreme Anti-Hero Snap Front Twill Jacket. So this week's collab is Anti-Hero. Uh, the one big disappointment that I have with this collab is just how they decided to use the co-branding. So on the back, it says Atmosphere Urine. And for me personally, like, I don't know, it reminds me of that Sex and the City episode when that mayor that Carrie was dating was like obsessed with like wanting to pee on her. I've been giving this, uh peeing thing a lot of thought and while I think it's, it's totally fine that that's what you're into I've just it's just never really been my thing or something and she was like no nah, I'm not into that well yeah I'm just not into having urine on me I don't know there's something about urine I just didn't know so unfortunately I'm gonna have to pass on any of these items that say atmosphere urine um but that does come in a white a green and a black and on the front of that uh, twill jacket, it's just very plain. All right, moving on, we have the reflective speckled down jacket. Again, that comes in the same colors as those camp caps. So we've got the blue, that orange and black. Pretty basic puffer coat, definitely something if you are looking for a down coat. It's got the Supreme logo on the back, which is quite nice. It's very subtle actually. I feel like if you weren't able to afford some of the previous puffer coats, I don't have the pricings yet, but I feel like this one is definitely going to be a bit more obtainable on the price point spectrum. Uh, but yeah, pretty simple coat. I do like how basic it is. And, you know, I feel like these are coats that you're definitely going to be able to stay warm in this jacket as well as, um, you know, it's going to be able to match pretty well with a lot of things. Then we've got that waterproof reflective speckled shoulder bag in the same colors, the orange, the black and the blue. Um, I don't know, this is a weird shape. It's a shoulder bag, but it definitely looks more like a purse shape. Um, for the males out there, I don't know. It's, it, I'm not feeling the shape of this bag personally, even as a, a female who loves purses. I just don't know that I would wanna rock this. On the back, it does look like it has like an extra mesh pocket there. And uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like it'll hold a lot and it's waterproof, but again, I just, I'm not in love with the shape of that. Do you love the bold Supreme though on the front? Then we've got some more atmosphere urine on a beanie. Again, don't want urine on my head either. So gonna pass on that. Then we have the Fa for Trooper hats. Those are nice and fuzzy. My goodness, that's plush. We got some almost kind of tie-dye looking fuzz going on. We've got this blue and kind of cream color as well as like this kind of brown and cream color. They do look very comfy. It's got the Supreme kind of stitched on the front there, but I just, ugh, I don't know. I don't know. Chewbacca-esque. I used to work for Baron Yeager guys and it kind of, it reminds me of like the bear head that I would have to wear 
because it was like I would have to dress up either as a bear or a bee and that's giving me some bear vibes, I don't know. So I think I might pass on that even though it would keep me so warm this winter. Next up we have the waterproof reflective speckled waist bag. I think this is a much better option between the two bags just because of the shape. Uh, again, the other one just looks more like a purse. It has the Supreme wrapped around it. Um, I do like that that shape of the bag does kind of have the Supreme that you can see on the front in the entirety but of it. This one is too small, so it kind of wraps around and you've got to see the sup and then the ream on the back end of it. Uh, I'm good on fannies for the season, but um, again, I guess if you're wanting to go all out with the jacket and you want to match, that could be a good option for you. Uh, then we have the Polar Tech overalls. I'm kind of feeling overalls right now. I don't know. I just did a photo shoot for Target and I was in some overalls and they were so comfy. They were actually extremely comfy. I forgot how comfy overalls are, uh, but they have these options in six different colors. So we have a blue, a red, this interesting print. It's like multicolored in a gray, a goldish color and a black. And then we've got it in another color scheme, which is orange, kind of a purple color with some lighter grays in there. And next up we have a red, a black, and a cream color. I think my favorite out of those is probably the more basic one. So the natural color or the black. All right, now we have some more anti-hero stuff with the atmosphere here in, but on a hooded sweatshirt that comes in those same colors, the white, the green, and the black. And uh, let's see if there's anything special in the back. Nope, not showing us anything there. Uh, but yeah, another atmosphere urine. So that's just um, anti-hero with Supreme kind of, I guess, scribbled together. And that's the words that they came up with. Okay, then we have the Supreme anti-hero iced tea. Uh, I don't know who this chick is. I hope she's getting usage though. I'd be kind of pissed. Uh, I guess that would count actually as unrecognizable because they did block her eyes out. And for us models, we know that unrecognizable pays way less. So maybe that's, I'm assuming why they blocked her eyes out. I can't tell who that is, but um, not too crazy of a fan of the shirt. It comes in a camo, a black, a orange, a blue, and a white. And next up we have the Fa reversible hooded jacket, though this looks extremely comfortable. I'm just not in love with the coloring scheme of it, it kind of reminds me of an older person's like mink jacket for some reason. I don't know. And the other one is like, it's kind of giving me penguin vibes for some reason. I, I feel like a penguin would be well matched with that blue and white. It reminds me of Antarctica. It does have the nicely embroid embroidered uh, Supreme on the back there. And on the inside it is reversible. So. Yeah, it looks like we've got some rotter resistance as well on the nylon reverse side. Uh, I'm not sure, sure if that first waterproof, uh, but it is nice that you have that option to switch. Then we have the Supreme Antihero balcony tee. So it's some person just kind of standing off a balcony. I like this one much better than the girl who's got the Supreme over her eyes. Uh, this comes in those same colors, the black, the camo, the orange, the blue, and the white. Next up, we have the Waterproof Reflective Speckled Backpack. This is actually a very cool backpack. Unfortunately, I already have just a basic waterproof bag that looks exactly like this. And you know, this one, obviously, I'm more in love with because it has that big bolt Supreme on the front. Definitely looks like it will carry a ton. We've got some waterproof zippers, roll top buckle closures, distress print with 3M reflective printed logo. So that Supreme is going to stand out at night. Definitely gonna be a great bag to wear if you're walking around at night and you want cars to see you. The reflection will be bling blinging. And that comes in orange, black, and blue. Next up we have the Supreme Anti-Hero Skateboard. A little bummed it has that urine on it, but I am kind of feeling that blue coloring scheme. I love the eagle, the eagle that Anti-Hero usually has on a lot of their items um, and how the eagle is actually eating that Supreme logo. So that's pretty dope. I, I really actually enjoy that deck. Um, so I may go for that in the blue or the gold. We'll see. 
All right, now moving on to the Polar Tech half zip pullover. These are my favorite items. So they have the Polar Tech half zip pullover as well as the hooded sweatshirt. I'm definitely gonna go hard for the sweatshirt. Next up, I will probably try and snag a zip up pullover. That comes as well in the same colors as I mentioned earlier with the overalls. And so that's natural, the blue, the red, those kind of intricately multicolored options of the purple, orange, and light gray, or the dark charcoal gray with the gold and the blacks, as well as just a simple black color. I'm probably gonna stick to the natural color. I do think natural tends to be one of the more popular colors this season, especially that since we're going into the fall winter season. I do like a black colorway as well, just because, you know, black really just goes with everything. You guys know me, I love me some black, and sometimes dark gray. I only work in black and sometimes very, very dark gray. Uh, and last but not least, the Supreme Cartel Tricks bed. I'm not gonna lie, I was so excited for this. And you know, the prices haven't come out yet. So I just had to go and check to see how much these beds actually run for. And it's insane. I mean, Supreme definitely knows how to partner with bougie brands when it comes to furniture. All right, so Cartel is by far a very modern, very high-end bougie furniture store. This is not your local Ikea store. This is not even your CB2 type of store. This is like creme de la creme expensive furniture. Like a couch will cost you around five grand, four grand, uh, which is, you know, pretty pricey for my taste. Unfortunately, when I looked up this bed, it is definitely going to be way too high of a price point for you know what I'm looking to spend this week. Though for a New Yorker, this is the perfect type of bed because you can move it around, you can store it pretty well, bring it out when you have guests and have them sleep on this. But uh, it's just dope. It's got pills all over it. That Supreme just pops off top of it. It looks so 3D. But then when I was on the actual cartel site, this specific model, the Trix model, you can actually design it yourself. So you can choose what fabric you want. Luckily, I looked at the poly, Eutheran, um adjustable component or foam that it has here. So it is upholstered poly printed uh, on top there. So it's it's uh, polyester it looks like. And that is actually the cheapest fabric out of the fabric options. The price point that you will find this bed at for the cheapest value is gonna be around $1,600. If you go on there and you start adding like nicer fabrics, nicer materials. Oh, by the way, this is like basically fabric over plastic. So you are definitely not sleeping on the coziest of materials straight up plastic um but again i guess because they use the cheaper material i don't know because it's so detailed i'm assuming this is going to be around the 2k price point which is going to be way too much for what i'm trying to pay this week all right you guys so let's just go through i am probably going to try and save some of my money this week it's black friday i've got things that i really want to go for outside of supreme as well uh, and you know, I've been playing hard. I've just been throwing my money <laughs> away on Supreme left and right. And I need to buy things other than Supreme this week too. So we'll talk about that in a second because Palace has some great stuff coming out. But I am definitely gonna go for some of these Polar Tech items. I love the hoodie, so that's number one option. Second is gonna be that half zip pullover, then the skateboard. Pretty light week for me. Uh, just based upon this Black Friday, I'm going to be going for a lot this week. So I'm going to try and save a little bit of money on Supreme and really just go for things I really, really want. All right, you guys. So I spoke too much as usual. We don't have time to get into Palace, so that's going to be a second video. Um, so look out for the Palace video if you guys are interested in watching that. Again, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shea TV. Do not forget to smash that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it as well feel free to leave me any comments or questions on what you guys are thinking about copying this week for Supreme as well as do not forget to hit that notification bell so we have a ton of content coming out and do not forget 
to hit that join button guys and check out the new merch that we have we are doing a black friday special as well so friends and family discount you guys are going to be able to actually get 20 percent off any of our merchandise so be sure to check it out i promise you there's some amazing stuff there that you guys are going to love if you are a true supreme uh not supreme if you are a true shade gang community member all right guys uh until next time we will see you on the next video